the skeletal system. Before we start this lesson, one should understand first about the levels of organization in the human body. Levels of organization in the human body. The human body is composed of several complex units that work as one. Atoms of elements group together to form molecules. And so, the molecules are grouped together to form a cell. The smallest living unit in the body is called a cell. Billions of cells, all of them specializing in certain functions, make up the body. A group of similar cells with similar functions is called a tissue. Tissues with a specific function form an organ. Organs are grouped together into systems. These systems depend on its other work together in the body of an organism. And so the human body is made up of different body systems that work together. Complex units work as one the human body. Atoms of elements group together to form molecules and group together to form cells. A group of cells with similar functions is called a tissue. An organ forms from tissues with specific function. Organs are grouped together to form systems. These systems work together in the body of an organism. What is the role of the skeletal system in the human body? The skeletal system provides form and support to the body. Without the skeleton, you would not be able to talk, walk, or lift objects. Bones functions Number one, protect vital organs inside the body. Second, provide anchor or support to the muscles. And third, produce blood cells. What composes the skeletal system? The skeletal system includes the bones, joints, cartilages, ligaments, and tendons. These are tissues that make up the skeleton. Bones A bone is a hard living tissue and contains blood vessels, nerves, and dividing cells. When you were a baby, you had about 305 bones, some of them gradually fusing together. Do you know that there are around 206 bones in your body? Each bone has specific size and shape that matches its function. There are long and short bones, there are flat bones, and irregularly shaped bones. The bones in your body have two divisions. The axial skeleton protects the delicate organs in your body. The appendicular skeleton provides support and aids your body in motion. Axial skeleton. The axial skeleton contains bones that protect the delicate organs like the skull, backbone, breastbone, and ribs. The skull protects the brain. It is made up of several bones which are fused together to form a helmet-like structure called the cranium. Attached to the skull is the backbone or spinal column. It is made up of an evenly shaped hollow bones called vertebrae, singular vertebra, that are piled on top of each other. The breastbone is an elongated flat bone at the middle of the chest. It is connected to the ribs. The breastbone and ribs protect the heart and lungs. Appendicular skeleton. The appendicular skeleton comprises bones that 
in movement. This include the collar bones, shoulder blades, and the bones of the arm, legs, and hips. The bones that protrude at the base of the neck are the collar bones. They are attached to the triangular bones called shoulder blades. Both bones stabilize the rib cage and connect the shoulders to the arms. The arm has three bones, one in the upper arm and two in the lower arm. Its head also has several bones, the fingers and palm. The same can be found for the leg. It has one long one in the upper leg as well as two bones in the lower leg. Between the upper and lower leg is the kneecap. The foot also has several bones. Just below the waist, you can feel the hip bone, which connects the backbone and the legs. You can bend your knees, twist your arm, nod your head, and do other movements. You can do a lot of movements because of your joints. The joint is formed with two bones connect. Types of joints, gliding joints, hinge joints, ball and socket joints, saddle joints, pivot joints. Gliding joints are located in wrist and these move by sliding bones over each other. Hand joints can be found in ankles, knees, and elbows. These joints are responsible in bending and straightening. Ball and socket joints are used in free movement in all directions. These are located in shoulders. Thumbs can move by tilting in several directions through the use of saddle joints. Pivot joints are located in head and neck. These joints are used for the limited movement and turning right to left. Cartilage, ligament, and tendon. Cartilage is a tough, flexible tissue. You can feel the car cartilage in your earlobes and the lower part of your nose. Cartilage is also found in walls of the voice box and in the windpipe. Cartilage is the one cushioning the ends of the long bones where they met and helps the joints move. It also functions as a shock absorber. There is also an oil-like fluid at the end of the bones called synovial fluid that lubricates bone. Ligaments attach one bone to another where two bones connect. Ligaments are tough strands of connective tissues. It is the ligaments that hurt when you sprain an ankle. Ligaments are made of very thick and elastic material, making them tough. They can stretch when the bones move. The bones do not separate even if they do a lot of movement because the ligaments hold them together. Tendons are made of tough materials connect a muscle to a bone. An example of tendon is the Achilles tendon in the foot. It connects the calf muscles to the heel bone. You have learned about the importance of skeletal system. To avoid bone injuries, one should follow the proper care of the skeletal system. Here are some ways to properly care for your skeletal system. 
Number one, include calcium rich food in your diet such as milk and cheese. Number two, eat and drink vitamin D rich foods like eggs, fish, orange juice. It will assist calcium absorption in your bones. Exercise to make bones healthy and strong. Maintain a proper posture. Avoid drinking alcoholic beverages and smoking cigarettes. Always wear your safety gears to avoid moon injuries. When engaging sports or extreme, extreme physical activities like driving, skating, bicycling, and horseback riding. And once again, this is Sir Poet. Please subscribe for more videos updates. Thank you!